picture this. The year is 2008. You've just loaded World at War into your Xbox 360. You finally beat the campaign a few hours later. And at the end, you are loaded into this dark, gritty, gloomy map. And you hear the faint, distant sound of moaning? This is where Call of Duty Zombies begins. And when it was inserted into the game as a bonus mode or a little Easter egg at the end of the campaign, no one could have anticipated that it would spread like wildfire. It, the community around Zombies, people loved it. And the community just kept growing. A couple years later, Black Ops 1 releases, and again... They doubled down on zombies. Treyarch was really delivering here. They knew that the community fell in love with the game mode, and they expanded on that. And new maps, and a storyline, and all these different things started to emerge in Call of Duty Zombies. And it became its own niche community, and that community grew exponentially because... It was totally separate from multiplayer and being in lobbies with these Giga Chad sweat lords who think their dad's going to bring them back the milk that they left to get 12 years ago if they do good enough in a public game of Call of Duty. But it was also separate from the single player experience of the campaign. Now, obviously you can load into zombies and you can play by yourself or you could play with friends or you could split screen on the couch. Oh my god, split screen on the couch. Who remembers those days, right? Fuck, I'm old. 2012 rolls around, and yeah, guys, I know I'm giving you the entire rundown of Call of Duty right now, but just bear with me. I'm going to get into my thoughts and opinions on the current state of zombies soon, but for this opinion to even matter, we have to have context. So I want to show you what zombies was and what it has slowly become. 2012 rolls around, and Black Ops 2 comes out, and it is amazing. People are freaking out, and this is where the community explodes even further. People like Mr. Raffle Waffles, Dalit JD, and several other Call of Duty Zombies creators solely focused on putting out Zombies content are helping us walk through Easter eggs, learn how to do this and that on transit. And not only were we stuck with our original crew, yeah, we had those guys, Rick Toffin and Nikolai and Dempsey and everybody, but we also got a new crew, and that crew was in transit and buried, and oh my god, buried was awesome, and we're going through and we're looking up the tutorials on the Easter eggs, and man, it was just a good, good vibes, good time. The community was solid. Then 2013 rolls around, okay, and Infinity Ward is working on this year's Call of Duty, and they decide to make Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah, and I can hear you already. I can hear you through the camera. Uh, Extinction Mode comes out, which is like you're fighting aliens, and it's supposed to be their answer to, or hopefully to help tap into the market of the Call of Duty Zombies community. And it was terrible. It was absolutely awful. Abysmal, even. Then in 2014, Sledgehammer Games releases Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And that was hit or miss on how it was received by the players as far as the multiplayer goes and how the zombies went. But in my opinion, I actually enjoyed both. I enjoyed the multiplayer, but I was a zombies guy. And Exo Zombies, to be honest with you, in my opinion, really wasn't that bad. Especially when you compare it to the garbage slop that we get nowadays in the zombies community. Uh, I actually enjoyed Exo Zombies a lot. Had challenging Easter eggs. Not every map was great. And some of the things they put in those maps wasn't that great, but it was all around, it was fun. Put a lot of hours into Exo Zombies. Then in 2015, Black Ops 3 releases, and Zombies gets even bigger. Treyarch's back on the scene, they're going bigger and badder than ever. Jason Blundell is absolutely at the peak of his creativity when it comes to being the head of Zombies in 2015. Black Ops 3 was absolutely phenomenal. A lot of people did not like the um, gobblegum system because they thought it was predatory and gambling because you would buy liquid divinium and you would roll for mega gobblegums and you would buy that liquid divinium which you could earn for free just not very quickly you would buy it with real money and then you would gamble that money to try to get a good gobblegum and you would never get it because Dr. Monty is an absolute fucking dick but this is peak zombies it wasn't necessarily that it was better than Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 but with the enhanced graphics and the 
the new maps and the new Easter eggs and the attention to detail, the community was on fire. Mr. Ruffle Waffles is uploading videos all the time. It's Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Welcome back guys, it's Mr. Ruffle Waffles. No nonsense guide to blah blah blah. Sorry, that was a horrible accent. I love you, my love. Please, please don't, don't hate me. Stop it. Get some help. He would release these videos and I would watch tentatively to try to learn how to do all the little tricks and stuff and figure out how to get the bows or do an Easter egg in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. It was just a phenomenal time to play the game. It was so great. 2016 rolls around and Dark Horse Comics releases the Black Ops Zombies comic books. This is how big the community has gotten from a stupid little bonus mode in World at War to Black Ops 3. Zombies is huge. Hi everyone, future editing MSG here, and I totally forgot the part where World War II zombies existed. I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. So this is World War II zombies, and in the beginning, I did not like World War II zombies, but I did become fond of it later on. Obviously, it wasn't as good as what Treyarch was putting out, but anyway, I just didn't want to leave that out of the video, so back to the video. Black Ops 4 is where zombies really went downhill. Um, they changed too much and it wasn't good. I did not like it at all and even that's even when you could play it because a lot of the times you would be kicked out of the game and lagged back to the home screen of your console or your PC when you were trying to play it. So Black Ops 4 is a dark moment in Zombies history that I just would like to pretend doesn't exist, even though it does. In 2020, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War comes out. And I kind of knew that things were going downhill for Zombies after Black Ops 4. Um, now obviously, by this point, Jason Blundell is gone. So you have a whole new creative team working on zombies, and it's probably never going to be the same again. But we're going to get into that later. Cold War comes out, and I put a lot of hours into the zombies in Cold War. But it wasn't zombies. At this point, Warzone is pretty big. It's one of the biggest battle royales at the time, and still to this day, a lot of people love watching Warzone streamers and playing Warzone. And... There were way too many things influenced from Warzone put into Cold War. Now, Cold War is still far better than what we've gotten the last couple years, but is kind of better. Like, like if one pile of dog shit stinks less than the other pile of dog shit, I mean, it's still dog shit. Cold War added salvage and armor plating and a kill feed and a mini map, and crucially at this point, this is one of the big things for me. All of it's big, but this one's big. They held your hand through the Easter egg by marking the objectives on the map. The whole point in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, when Mr. Raffle Waffles would do these videos on the Easter eggs and, and no-nonsense guides was you, you still had to have a certain skill level. You still had to be good at the game. You would watch his video, and you might complete the Easter egg, and it would be a challenge all the way through. So there's a difference between that and then showing them exactly where to go step by step to do the Easter egg. You have completely ruined the game mode at this point with the things that you've added and the things that you took away. Call of Duty Vanguard comes out and the zombies are even worse than they were in Cold War. How that's possible is fucking beyond me. But let's move a little bit further forward. 2023 Call of Duty Modern Warfare releases and they release zombies and it's not zombies it is a copy pasted warzone map with zombie npcs manglers mimics and abominations you still have the plating system the mini map you have contracts a lot of other things that are wrong with this game mode it's terrible black ops 6 gets announced treyarch says they've listened to the community and that they're going to work on fixing zombies and it's going to be more old school more stylized, like the community has been begging for since Black Ops 3. And this is the shit we get. Alright Activision, you want to know how to fix your game that you broke? Considering by the end of Black Ops 3 you had the winning formula. Uh, Black Ops 1 and 2 were great. Exo Zombies wasn't that bad, but we've been over that. This is how you fix what you've ruined. 
Get rid of the armor plates. Get rid of the salvage. Get rid of the kill feed. Make the HUD unique to the zombies mode. You know, kind of like you used to. Same goes for the maps. You can use copied assets from Warzone maps or multiplayer maps or campaign maps. And you can put some aesthetics and personality on it and turn it into a zombies map that is unique to that experience. Make it round based. None of this contracts bullshit running around. Make it round based. Get rid of the loadouts. You should only start with the pistol, whatever pistol it is in that game that is the main pistol, whether that's a 1911 or whatever. And you should have to work your way up. That way there is a challenge there. And also, stop holding people's hands in the Easter eggs. If they can't do the Easter egg, they shouldn't try to do the Easter egg or they should keep trying until they can do the Easter egg. All these pings on the map everywhere floating around the edge of the screen when you're trying to play the game completely breaks the immersion. And that's not the only thing that breaks the immersion. Like I said earlier, so does the HUD and the maps and the kill feed. You have taken something that a lot of people love and you've destroyed it. Hey, that's just my opinion. Guys, let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is there something I missed that I should have added in here on how they could fix it? Let me know. I'll see you all later. Oh, 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 oh,